Hi guys, today I'm going to react to the video 10 best places to visit in Malaysia. I just got a news saying that um, MCO has been extended for another two weeks. I don't know when I can travel around again, but since I cannot, let's travel by watching the places. I wish I can go now. They say 10 best places in Malaysia, but I have been to quite many places in Malaysia already. So let's see how many places I have been to and explore more amazing places in Malaysia. If countries were awarded for diversity, Malaysia would top first place. Not only is Malaysia a melting pot of ethnic cultures, but it is also a blend of many different customs, cuisines, and religions all coexisting peacefully together. From large island groups to mountains and tropical rainforests, the country's geography is every bit as diverse. What's more, Malaysia is a unique country in that it is divided into two main land masses. West yes. Malaysia occupies the southern half of a peninsula shared with Thailand, while Actually, East Malaysia yeah. is situated on the Borneo Island. Kale. Here's a look at the best places no, to visit Malaysia. in Malaysia. Yeah. Number 10. Malacca. Of course I've been here. Lying on the west coast of the Malaysian Peninsula, Malacca is a unique place to visit due to the British, Dutch, and Portuguese all having ruled here at one point. As such, there is a wealth of colonial architecture to explore, with each nation having left its mark in terms of the buildings left behind and the cultural impact that they had. Yeah, I already been to Malacca one time with my school friends during the exchange program and the other time with my boyfriend. I remember the weather was really hot. With the lively night market and a wide range of different cuisines, this charming city is understandably a popular yeah, tourist destination really in city. Malaysia. I never taken this boat. Try. It's so cute. It looks so cute. Yep, I know. I know here. Yeah, I've been to this church as well. It looks different at night. I think I only went there during the daytime. I didn't stay overnight, so I just went there and then spent day and then I came back to KL. But it looks really different from the daytime. Number nine, Cameron Highlands. No, not yet. The Cameron Highlands is one of Malaysia's most, most extensive, extensive hill stations first developed by the British in the 1920s. It has a population of more than 34,000 people consisting of Malays, Chinese, Indians, and other ethnic groups. The Cameron Highlands is renowned for its trails. They lead visitors through the forest to waterfalls and other tranquil spots. Apart from its jungle walks, the sanctuary is also known for its tea plantations, and visitors can book several tea factory tours. Oh, that's a good info. I'd like to go. Ooh. And I heard like this place has like a really fresh vegetable. I'm not sure if it's true, but yeah, if I go there, I will definitely try their vegetable and tea factory as well. This reminds me of Korea, one place named Pusong. So the Pusong is really famous for tea as well. And then it looks quite similar to this. Ooh. Wow. Where is it? <gasps> 
It number like eight. Fairy tale. Mount Kinabalu. Yeah, I've been there. Towering 4,095 meters above northern Borneo, Mount Kinabalu is the highest mountain between the Himalayas and the island of New Guinea. I actually have been to Mount Kinabalu as well, or not exactly, <laughs> because I, I saw this mountain from far away, but it was definitely beautiful, amazing mountain. And I didn't climb because I was just not ready to climb the mountain that day. I actually have a friend from Sabah. Her name is Amal. She's so sweet. And she invited me to her place. And then I spent time for a week there. And then they took me around like uh, around Sabah. I'm not sure it was just her family, but people in Sabah were so nice. And they're actually different i think like they're really really nice i uh, i miss them a lot main peak of the mountain Mountains can be climbed easily, easily by, by a person with a good physical condition yeah. and requires no this. mountaineering equipment although climbers must be accompanied by guides at all times for those with limited time or energy there are gardens and many short walks through the jungle to enjoy the vicinity of the entrance I want to revisit here seriously and then climb the mountain. Whoa. Number seven, Perhentian Islands. No, never been Located here. off the coast of northeastern Malaysia, not far from the Thai border, the Perhentian Islands are the must-go place in Malaysia for budget travelers. The two main islands are Perhentian Besar, meaning Big Perhentian, and Perhentian Kecil, meaning Small Perhentian. They have some of Malaysia's most beautiful beaches and great diving with plenty of cheap accommodation. Visitors can also explore the tropical jungle that covers most of the island's terrain. Sunset. Number 6. Batu Caves. Of course I have been here so many times. Travelers who make their way to Batu Caves near Kuala Lumpur will be rewarded with some pretty awesome Hindu art. The mm. three main caves that make up Batu Caves make it the most popular Hindu shrine outside of India and attract thousands of worshippers. The highlight of the site is a giant statue of a Hindu god reached by climbing 272 steps to the cathedral. Monkey, so... Don't mess up with the monkeys in Batu Cave, they are really cheeky. Also enjoy the site and can be seen playing there. Oh, actually like when I went to Batu Cave for the first time, it was 2016 I guess. That time it was, it didn't look like this, it, there was no rainbow colors before but I think they painted, I don't know when but, but I prefer like a previous look. Now it looks a bit fake. Hmm. Yeah, but yeah, Batu Cave is worth it to visit. Oh, look at the monkeys. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it looks different time. Number five, Penang. Yep, I've been here. Historically regarded as the Pearl of the Orient because of its important location among the sea trade route, Penang is a Penang Bridge is so long, you know? <laughs> colorful island shaped by its diverse culture, heritage, and world-famous cuisine. A must-do here is a stroll around the historic Georgetown to see its colonial buildings, stately mansions, and lovely temples. Visitors will find plenty of activities that range from excellent shopping to horse riding on the beach, photographing snakes in the snake temple, know. and cable car rides up to Penang Hill. I have to say, Penang has amazing food. Seriously. Like... I remember here. And the city is so organized and it's so cute. I, I really like Penang. Yeah, I remember here. Yeah, I took this as well. Pinay.
Penang is an amazing place. Yeah, I will definitely go back there for food. Number four, Kuala Lumpur. Dude, I'm living here. <laughs> Kuala Lumpur is a bustling city that serves as the capital of Malaysia. The country's most populous city, it has a landscape filled with innovatively designed skyscrapers, including the iconic Petronas Twin Towers, the world's tallest twin towers. Kuala Lumpur also yeah. boasts an outstanding Islamic art museum, the Bukit Bintang pedestrian bridge that connects the downtown area, and a bird park here, that is seriously. the world's largest walk-in aviary. You know, some of Korea people would think that Malaysia is all about jungle. Did you know that? <laughs> I think it's because of one of the Korean TV show called Jungle Bob Chick. So that was about like they go to some jungle or forest and then they survive there. And Malaysia was one of the countries that they visited. So like some people think that Malaysia is all about jungle, but <laughs> they gotta say <see> this. <laughs> Little India, I know. Hmm. Never been here, I guess. Twin tower. Twin tower. Yeah, it looks amazing at night, actually. Number three. With the Taman Negara. Negara. Yeah. Never heard. Encompassing three states across the northern part of West Malaysia, Taman Negara is reputed to be the oldest tropical rainforest in the world. A popular ecotourism okay. destination, this national park is teeming in wildlife, from rare plants to scarce animals like the Malayan tiger and the Sumatran rhinoceros. Tiger? ...to do in Taman Negara is the canopy walk a long suspension bridge high above the treetops where visitors Ooh, can walk fun. and glimpse exotic birds. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at the monkey. <laughs> oh my god, he's so cute. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the year of monkey, by the way. So I am 17 now. Shut up! Oh my gosh, so cute! <laughs> Number two, Langkawi. Yep, I've been here. Malaysia's best known holiday destination, mm -hmm. Langkawi, is an archipelago of 99 islands in the Andaman Sea. By far the largest of the islands is the eponymous Pulau Langkawi, with a population of about 65,000. With its many diverse landscapes of beaches, mountains, rainforests, and mangrove wetlands, Langkawi offers tourists a great variety of things to see and do. Sure. A popular activity here is to take a cable car ride and walk across the sky bridge to see incredible views across to Thailand. For me, I went there because the drinks is tax-free and drinks is tax-free. I'm joking that Langkawi is an amazing uh, place to visit actually. I took the cruise there and then it, it costed like $80 I guess per person but it was so amazing that will take you everywhere and they will offer you food and drinks and then you can still do like water activities there so yeah I think it's really worth it so you should try that as well if you go to Langkawi. Yeah, I think I, I, I think I have been here. Maybe not. Monkeys again. What's this? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I took a picture here. Number one. Gunung Mulu National Park. 
Famous for its extraordinary limestone karst formations and phenomenal cave systems, the Gunung Mulu National Park is one of the most awe-inspiring natural attractions in all of Southeast Asia. If you visit, you'll want to check out the Sarawak Chamber, which is big enough to hold 40 Boeing 747 aircraft. And you'll also want to hike to the Paku Waterfall. While longer multi-day treks are possible, there are also plenty Whoa. of shorter hikes, which are just as scenic. <gasps> what is that? so many places to visit in Malaysia so there were places that I already have been to and still there are places that I haven't been to so where do I want to go to the most after I watch this I think I want to go to Gunung Mulu National Park because it was so clean nice wild amazing national park I think and I've been to many cities already but you know sometimes you, you want to get out of the city right so yeah uh, Gunung Mulu National Park is the place that I want to go definitely anyway hopefully things get better soon and everyone can travel to everywhere just like before but stay safe for now I hope you enjoyed my video if you liked my video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more and yeah that's it i will see you in next video bye bye